Hello everyone, and welcome to A Blast from the Past, Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise, the sequel to Viva Pinata. And actually, a very, very long time ago, we did spend a bit of time building up a Viva Pinata paradise, but I did not have the right tools to be able to really investigate the pixelated biology that makes up this world. And now we are back, because I figure what better way to celebrate April with all of its wonkiness, April with all of the awesomeness of April Fool's Day mixed with the deliciousness of the candy coming up for Easter and just kind of like the adorableness of spring other than Viva Pinata. Also, this was actually the game that Chips and I played a lot when we were still falling in love with one another all those years ago when we were first dating. And since we are getting married in just a few more days here, I kind of felt like walking down the past, you know, getting a little nostalgic and thinking about the way that even before we really became the pixel biology community, he and I were in the early, early days of dating and would spend a long time thinking about the biology of all of the different pixelated animals here in Viva Pinata. So I think we're going to have a really great time. I've been wanting to come back to this world. I've never properly been able to dive in and explore it. And I want to do that with you guys because we're pixel biologists getting in here and thinking about the biology of that little flying bug, whatever it was, and really investigating what makes this ecosystem of this world tick. That's what we're all about. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make a new garden. The gist of Viva Pinata, for those of you who don't know, is that we will be taking care of the pinatas who live in a very unique ecosystem where they need different plants in the garden and sometimes different pinatas if they happen to be carnivores in order to come and become residents of our garden. And once they become a resident of our garden, we can give them little homes. We can actually have them fall in love, romance, end up having pinatas, end up having baby pinatas that have uh, special characteristics like special recessive genes that you can actually breed into them. And of course, there's some sort of story about needing to save the world from an evil mastermind, but we're pixel biologists. We're here to put on our like, zookeeping boots basically hit the ground start taking notes pictures and figuring out what makes this world tick so let's go ahead we'll just have seriously's garden totally cool with me and let's figure out what's going on it's been so long i literally do not remember how any of this works or really what this world is about so let's just start fresh all right let's, what are we doing here I know there's candy involved. All right, that's just kind of like a bomb. Uh. I just love ah yes, this guy. He's some sort of evil mastermind. You guys know the type. Almost a cliche unto themselves. They've got the like one minion, two minion, very low, low IQ minion. <laughs> Laugh at one another's pain. Oh, really, that's where they the probably job. started going wrong all along. Now that we're inside but these the guys we can use simple hacking techniques to steal the are basically miles. no good, Soon, and they the happen to live on the island as well. And the island, they can corrupt our pinata, where we are here to do some proper biological research and to try to think about how the creatures here might relate to the natural world. This guy basically just wants to capture the pinatas. Consider these guys poachers. These are the poachers of the island. And they're also destroying basically all of the information about the pinatas, so we're going to have to rebuild that information ourselves. Well, it's a good thing that we've upgraded to more modern systems using clouds. And in the meantime, I'll make sure those cloud saving that is never reach the Canadata. That's good, sir. Okay. You think that. I have no idea what just happened because it's been so I'm long. Ethos, oh, I'm going to help you get started. Look for this. It can show up anywhere, but it always tries to tell you where to go and what to do next. Oh, nice! A little target! And leave us! I love her because she has leaves all over! Okay, I think we're gonna be best friends. We're totally gonna get along. Hello, Levos! Very nice to meet you! Can I go ahead- Oh! <gasps> Bispotty! 
It's our first pixelated creature, my friends. Oh, it's precious. This pretty little piñasa has smelled the flowers in your garden and has come closer to investigate. Oh, Leofos, there's a piñata. So we are already attracting wildlife to our garden thanks to having these poppies. Okay, so we've got a couple poppies. Got it. Where's the biscotti? Oh, there it is! Oh, it's so cute. I want to learn more about it. So this is the biscotti. And if we have three poppies in the garden, then it will become a resident of our garden. Noted. So that's the goal, basically. We have the opportunity to build a beautiful garden here on this pinata island as pixel biology researchers, as I mentioned. And our job is to try to cultivate this land to attract as many new creatures to it as possible. So let's go ahead and follow the little... Um, the little yeah right over here so we want to follow the target i suppose oh cute there's a little watering can a shovel grass packet we have a journal i want to look at my journal really quickly hang in there miss body okay so it has an encyclopedia a garden area player log the res resident pinatas player awards lethos log how to i'm really curious about the encyclopedia and of characters, plants, garden construction schools, pinata, garden surfaces. We can learn more about plants. What do I have in here? Oh, we have some information about the poppies that we have in our garden. Oh, I'm so excited to have a cute little journal like this. It's already full of a lot of information. Poppy. This little flower adds a splash of red to the garden. Poppy down to the shop and buy some seeds today. Okay, that's pretty cute. But speaking of seeds, let's actually go back to the garden. And I think we're supposed to go into the village, which I guess we just live here now. And we're supposed to visit with this this frog named Lanston. Uh, let's see. So warm up. There's a party in Twyari Cross that wants a uh, Bispati Pinata. Remember, you can't send them off until they have reached maxed candiosity. Here's a little tip for raising candiosity. Rename a Pinata and watch what happens. Okay. I have no idea what that's about, uh, other than the fact that you are supposed to raise healthy, happy pinata in your garden. I think the first game does a better job of explaining it, but we can leap in with both feet, guys. We are hardcore veterans of so many different farming games. We've got this! Just because they are pinatas and they, they have candiosity, which clearly means that they're super healthy and happy in our garden, doesn't mean we can't figure out how to do this. It's basically like Stardew Valley with candy. Got it. So we want a bispotty that is going to be at max level in our garden. Okay. Hello, little one. You want to come join my garden, do you? <gasps> you guys, it's a worm. Oh, he's got such sassy personality. <gasps> do you see that really cool radish? And look at those flowers. This is what well pixel bi you biology is all about. Getting super excited for the ecosystem. Okay, so the worm is happy because we have some soil in our garden. How do I make the little bispotty happy though? So we want to have three poppies for its condition status, right? Okay. So there's my shovel. Gotcha. And I want to smack... So we smack the poppy with the shovel. Oh, we tap the poppy. Tap the poppy. Gently, gently. <gasps> Look, it's a seed! So next I want to dig a hole. Got it. See, I told you guys. We'll figure this out. Then we're going to pick up the seed. Put the seed into the soil. Like I said, veterans of Stardew Valley, I've already married my wonderful wife Leia and raised at least one kid and several goats in Stardew Valley, so we've got this. <gasps> A serpent! I love snakes! Wow, there's a lot of little creatures who are eager to come into the garden, even though we literally just started getting it going. You are doing very well. A serpent has appeared because you've grown some grass. Oh, see? This is so much fun because each of the creatures actually desires different types of ecosystems. So now we've got a serpent to think about. Oh, and we want to we water our poppy. I've got it. 
Thank you, extremely helpful little sign. We want to do a short pour. And then we want to put it away. I don't think that helps it enough. And we want to wait for the flower to grow. And then there's actually like a flower right over here. Can I give it to the biscotti? No, I cannot. I wish I could. Hello, little one. Oh, there's two of them now. Can I have them both come to my garden and then have some babies? That would be so cool. Let's come over and let's see what the serpent is up to. I love the area he came out of. Oh my gosh. All right. What? Oh, he's not close enough into the garden yet. Oh, the poppy grew. Yay! <gasps> Are you guys turning into residents? Congratulations! A Bispotti loves your poppies and has decided to stay in your garden. This deserves a Bispotti Resident Award. Well done! Alright, great! Our first day on the job! <gasps> and we already have two Bispotties! Look at how they have gained so much wonderful color now that we have added them in. Oh, we've definitely got to rename them. Can I rename them? Bispotti 2. I want to rename you, my little one. Basic info. So we have two of them. You can do little labels on them, apparently. We need to feed them a daisy and have a bespotty house in the garden, and then apparently they will have children for us, I think. All right, let's see. Let's view these alerts. So we have an award for a bespotty resident. Yay. Uh, candiosity hint. You need to fill the candiosity meter of one of your pinatas. Feeding helps, but the cheapest way is to name them. Put the cursor on a piñata and watch for the player guide. Okay. Also, was that a... a What it was that? Did you guys see that? Was that like a badger? What? This world is just so alive. Okay, let's go ahead. What can... Oh, I need your guys' help on naming these little ones. We need to, we need to rename all of them. That'll be so much fun. I need your guys' help so we can come up with some cool names for these ones. I can't tell, like... I guess they, they both could be males or females. And you know what? It, it's They're bespotty. They like poppies. I'm going to name one poppy. There we go. Done. There you go, little one. So we have poppy. And poppy is actually at full candiosity because it's so happy for the flowers. And it's so happy to be named. And then I think we direct it into this box. And the reason we're doing that, it's explained better in the first game, not so well here, is that now Poppy, our biscotti, bis biscotti, I keep calling it biscotti because I'm actually cooking some almond biscotti later tonight. Congratulations! You've completed the first challenge by successfully attracting a biscotti into your garden, filling it up with candy, and sending it off to a party. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now... Let's try something a bit more tricky. Nice! I wonder why we care about completing the challenge. Mostly I want to like take good care of my animals and grow a lot of adorable flowers in here. Also, what is in here? <gasps> it's a fudge hog! I want to learn more about the fudge hogs! They want bottles of milk! Oh my gosh, I want to know like more basic info about them. Fudge hogs and tarmac eternally pressed together in a kind of passionate embrace that may remind you of the tragic end of Sha uh, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. This is how they will be remembered, not with a bang, but with a squeechy whimper. What? That is so odd. And then to get them appear to appear, we need to have one holly bush in the garden, but it seems that Lefos, the nice leaf-covered woman of mysterious origins, who I'm sure if I remembered the first game, I would understand more has just gone ahead and captured one for us. I guess they have a, a problem with being near tarmac, huh? Well, we'll have to take good care of them. I hope my, my poppy will come back soon. Alright, so what are we doing now? They want us to go back to Langston. Bring them back alive. Well, that's not threatening whatsoever, right? I've got, so, I've got a request from someone having a beach party. They want a sandy pinata, so I suggest you go to the desert area and trap a sweetle. Follow the uh, targets and soon we'll have this one. Alright, so we want to go and get a sweetle from the desert area on the island. Which is this away. And then once- Oh, hi, little one! How are 
at you, little Bispotty. And then once we catch it, then I hope something good will happen. But why do we care about completing these, like, events? I'm quite curious about that. Alright. Right now, I'm just excited to own my own little garden. We want to feed them maybe a daisy. Ah, here. This is how we rename. So we already have one who we have named Poppy. And I need your guys' names at, like, suggestions for these. Uh, we have Poppy, and they also want to eat daisies. So I'm going to name this one Daisy. Very simple. I know, it could be fancier. It should be fancier. But we can always rename them in the future. For now, I want this little one to know that it is loved. Very loved. And it want they want to eat daisies, so let's actually see if I can buy... Okay, those are grass packets to spread down grass. Gotcha. Is there a place where I could buy more seeds? I don't think just yet. I think we have to follow along. Will the camera let me do things? <gasps> oh, I can take photos of my little sleeping biscotti. Hello, little wine. Goodness, it snores. Did you guys know that they would snore that loud? <laughs> yeah, because I had no idea that they would snore that loud. That's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and back into the garden. Oh, hello, little one. Daisy, you're so cute. All right, and then let's carry on. We'll go over to the desert area then. Uh, yes. We'll go to the dessert desert. We're kind of, I feel like we have amnesia. I'm not gonna lie. I really feel like we have amnesia here. A beetle! Oh, it's so cute! Gosh, I wonder what the biology of a Sweetle would be. Are they like little cleanup bugs? This can only be found out in the harsh desert environment. That's wonderful. Like I really feel confused because we just Oh that's Gekki! I want a Gekki! They remind me of my crusty geckos I used to have. Oh I'll never forget when Chips and I were first dating, and I was like, I have 11 crested geckos, because I had a bunch of rescue geckos at the time. And he just took it in stride. Feel of sand between its toes. You can only find the gecky in the desert region. That's so cute! So we have our first sighting with a gecky. So first gecky sighting, first sweetle sighting, and candiosity hint. So now what we're going to do, I think, is put down some bait. And somebody just gave me a ton of yams for an unknown reason. <laughs> I really feel like we have amnesia. We have candy amnesia. <laughs> and we've just woken up on a mysterious island with a small garden plot. Not even a house of our own yet. And we're just told, yeah, you seem to have a good way with animals and wildlife and studying, you know, the natural flora and fauna. I'm sure you'll figure this out. This is hilarious. Langston, talking frogman. Please. Hello again. Selling traps is my sideline. And to help you along, you can have a freebie. Langston, did you kidnap us? Because if selling traps is your sideline, I feel really suspicious right That's now. That's got a lucky feel. I can tell. All right. Thank you. He gave us a trap. So then I guess we put the trap down right here. And that lets us finish shopping for traps. And then let's go ahead. It's not enough to put down a trap and hope something will walk into it. <laughs> I wonder what put he used to trap me. Trap to lure the pinata. Different species like different things, so choose wisely. Thank you, Lanson. I really think he kidnapped us. That's my new theory. Uh, that because I can't remember the first game at all, and the second game apparently just doesn't tell you anything about anything when you get started, my new running theory is that I have been kidnapped because of my reputation with, you know, any kind of farming game and, you know, loving pixel biology. I've woken up on this island. I also don't know what's going on, friends, but I know that our current job is that we're going to try to catch this adorable little Sweetle, and it finds yams hard to resist. Good, because they've apparently filled up my pocket full of yams. And now we can just go ahead and sprinkle a yam right down here. Did the yam cost us money? I'm not sure. And now we want to wait for the trap to catch a Sweetle. I have a good feeling about this. 
Look at him, guys. Look at his cute little face. I'm gonna name him Shquub. I've been hanging out with my beloved Chips quite a bit lately, since you know we're getting married on the 12th. Married? I can't believe I'm getting married. It's been seven years since we've been dating. Seven years since I last played this. That's amazing. At least. Oh, here we go, here we go. <gasps> go, Trap, go! Shquub! We got a Shquub, you guys! Good catch! Now, return to the main garden and visit the post office to unpack your trap. Yay! Okay! So now we want to head back. I think we have alarmed all of the other- Oh yeah, the Sweetle's like, Oh my gosh, they kidnapped Shquub! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be back for you, Shqu like, Shquilly? Shquilly? In the future. And those- that, that's, that's what we'll name the other one, is Shquinilly. I've been hanging out with my beloved Chips quite a bit, and he's been playing a lot of Pokemon Shield, uh, to complement my Pokemon Sword. <gasps> okay, I'm not gonna be terrified of the mail lady. The magnificent postal services are at your disposal for all your needs. You know, passing stuff on, getting some goodies off other Xbox Live gardeners. I really feel like she reminds me a ton of the lamp from the Little Toaster's Adventures. So I'm just going to say that this is somehow his like great 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 granddaughter. <laughs> We're just going to roll with that. Alright, so the trap has been triggered and we have also got the post office. <gasps> the Prezi Deo! The little fox that I know so many of you are going to be wildly in love with. Look at him frolic down from the flower fields. A Pret's tail has appeared. They like to investigate a garden in the dark. Oh, that's so exciting, you guys! Our first Pret's tail! Our very first Pret's tail sighting! But we have Schnub! Sh we need to take good care of Schnub. So let's go ahead and grab Schnub. Howdy, sweet pea! Hi! Welcome to the post office! I heard there was a new face in town. Yeah, you're missing one. We can one. help you with crate sales, crate deliveries, messages, invites. You just holler when yep, you make up your Yep, that's great. Box. Can I? Thank you. Just, I would love this crate delivery. I don't know how you can wait to open these things. Here you Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I bet you helped to kidnap me, but that's fine. All right, so let's unpack Shkunwub. And let's move this pinata out of the crate. Hello, little one. You have a new sweetle visitor. Congratulations on catching this little piñata. Now put the cursor on it and press the Y button to find out what you need to do to make it stay. Oh wait! We don't know if Shrub will stay yet? We have to hurry guys! What do we need to do? We need to have one square pinometer of sand. Oh wait! I don't want to have kidnapped this little one for nothing. Okay, how do I, how do I make the sand happen? I see you've caught a sand critter. Hello! Might be just the right time to Another get Another sir sand with leaves packet. covering you. It works just like the grass packets, and you can find it in the same place on the menu, so it should be no- Thank you! Okay, so he gave us some sand. Let's not panic about the fact that, like, random people act like they know us and they just show up completely covered in leaves. I like leaves. And apparently, like, this is our little desert guy, so we'll get a little- desert section set up. Oh, it's enough for our little friend! Yay! We're s oh, look at Chicken Dub! Oh, that makes me happy! Hello, little one! Chicken Dub! Come on over here! Oh my gosh, and the, the sand, because we have changed the ecosystem in the garden, the sand has now officially attracted a crustacean. Ah, this is what I love, my friends. With a little sand and a little sunshine, the beach party animals appear. This little custation is interested in your garden. A custation, oh my gosh. All right, well, things are happening left, right, and center. We apparently have a pinata that has returned. Uh, so I would very much like... Yay! I would very much like to see... Uh, pinata returned! Where's my pinata? Pinata to the star of the show. Just letting you know that we fixed up your pinata and sent it speeding back to you, along with a token of our appreciation. 
Okay, good. So they have they have given me my pinata back, right? Where is my pinata? Oh! Is that you, Poppy? Poppy, you're okay! Oh, I hope you had a good time. And I think that Poppy, age zero days, tells you how far they've traveled. I think that Poppy is now officially here. Oh, you're so cute, little, sh little schnub. Let's go ahead and figure out what I can do with you, eh? Let's see. Basic info. They want turnips and they want uh, schnub houses, or excuse me, sweetle houses, and then they'll be happy to settle in. Well, let's go ahead and give this little sweetle its name. There we go. Let's see. Uh, Schnug. Snug. Pronounced schnug, if you must know, just because. Or snug, if you want to be cute. All right, anything else we need to do with you, little one? Oh, we need to send you over to... I think I need to send you... Select the poppy. Do you need some food? <gasps> Are you going to eat our poppy? Oh, you little rascal. I'm going to have to plant more, you know. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it needs to eat a poppy like this. Oh, what do you think? You want to eat? Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute! It just went ahead and it just sucked that little flower up. That is so adorable. Also, the biscotti can, or like the biscotti can really snore. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and we will feed our little guy. Let's grab the shovel because he's so hungry. Let's just gently tap, tap. Tap, tap the poppy. There we go. And then let's put that away. Let's pick this up. And can I put, I think you have to like put it down. There you go. And there we go. It has now officially finished nibbling and nomming on the food, which is really great. Well done. It's at full candiosity, which apparently means that it's ready to go off. We'll say not for a party, but for research. There you go, Snug. We'll talk to you later. But all right, guys, now that we have sent off our second pinata, clearly for research, forget about the idea of it being for parties. We are hardcore scientists here, after all. Research parties are the kind of parties we love. Excellent. You've completed this second right. challenge by trapping a wild pig. There we go. So we will continue to work on our challenges. You've leveled up. Yay! You filled the petals around the clock, which means you've taken a step closer to becoming a truly great gardener. Noted. Collect All petals. Good gardening. All happen when you become a better gardener. Castellot store has opened. You can buy some paving, some fences, a couple of items to decorate your garden with, and some seeds. Seedos will have some new seeds in his pouch too. Oh, nice! All right, so they're beginning to trust me more with their precious seeds. And they're beginning to trust me more with taking care of their precious pinatas. Even though I'm pretty sure that they kidnapped me and gave me, like, uh, sweet tooth amnesia. Which is why I can't remember anything about any of these people or how to do anything. But we're getting there, guys. <gasps> and a worm has just become a resident of our garden! Is it because you liked my soil? It's pretty good soil, isn't it, little guy? Oh, he's precious, you guys. He's absolutely precious. Alright, we're gonna have a really great time. Wait, hello, Lottie! She's got a lot of stuff tied in her hair. Hey, everyone! You should all know my store's open again! I expect to see you in here very soon. Just bring lots of cash. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes the taste of chocolate coins more than Lottie, I can tell you. Noted! Alright, all of our coins are chocolate. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> But all right, guys, we will take care of everything that we have to do here in the exploration of Viva Pinata Island in Trouble. You have improved again. Well Yay! Cedos has new things. Has new oh, and our garden will grow when we level up. Okay, this is wonderful. I'm so glad since... Okay, that's fine. Now there's a sparrow mint. <laughs> You're so cute! You remind me of my Golian finches. Yes, I love you. I love you too, little one. All right. Congratulations! <gasps> You've attracted a sparrow mint. It's coming to eat our worm. And here's Cedos. Oh, geez. All right. 
I think we passed some sort of super secret society test of like, but is she really worthy of our yeah. pinata? And now we are being completely so, overwhelmed uh, and overrun with different people rushing up to us now that we Let have introduce he's okay i am he's also obsessed with gathering seeds thank you lefos we'll have to go ahead and visit with him in just a minute uh but yeah clearly we passed some sort of test and now we're getting ready for like everybody to start swarming us and telling us how to take care of this land probably restore it because it looks like a complete wreck I mean, look at this poor island. It really looks like it's been completely beat up and it needs us to revive its ecosystem. Which is why they kidnapped me and gave me uh, some sort of sugar... Uh-oh. Some sort of horrible sugar amnesia. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for this trip down some sweet, sweet nostalgia lane. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye